Hi, every welcome everybody to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Uh, today in the UK, um, the weather um, in the morning and early afternoon was uh, like raining like that, um, but now it's uh, calmed down and it's uh, dried up. It's still quite cold at six Celsius, um, but hey what can you do um so uh, to, today i'm going to be doing travel news uk five exciting facts february 2022 parts two or oh, no part three so just before I jump right into it, if you please subscribe to my channel, um, I upload five times a week on both my travel and lifestyle and I love talking about travel and lifestyle. So now I'm going to jump right into it uh, with uh, number one, bbc.co.uk slash news, um, what COVID test um, do I still need to travel abroad? Fully vaccinated people travelling to the UK uh, no longer have to take any uh, COVID tests either before departure or on arrival. The Prime Minister has announced that he intends to remove England's remaining COVID restriction at the end of the month, which is at the end of February, uh, fully vaccinated uh, travellers, two doses and under 18s no longer need to take a test either or after they arrive in England, Scotland, Wales or Northern Ireland. So that's really good news um, for people that want to come to the UK and travel abroad. Uh, to qualify as vaccinated, non-UK uh, travellers must have received their jabs um, in a country or territory with approved proof of vaccination. Uh, this now covers most countries in the world, which is really good news, with more countries, including China, due to uh, join on February the 11th of, of February so that's uh, gone now so you will have to however if you are traveling to countries in Europe or um, traveling out to countries uh, from uh, the UK uh, make sure you know the requirements um, uh, for each country that you're traveling to or the country that you're traveling to so um again you're probably better to go on um gov.uk.com to find that out um or research it on google and um, number two uh, bbc.uk what if I'm unvaccinated? Unvaccinated travellers still have to show proof of a negative COVID test taken two days before departure. They must also take a post and arrival PCR test two days after the arrival. Uh, this must be uh, booked before travelling to the UK and brought uh, privately from the government or a government approved list of providers however if positive uh, they need to self-isolate however unvaccinated travellers um, no longer have to self-isolate on arrival or take a test um, day eight after the they arrived in the UK. All unvaccinated travellers um, to the UK must complete a passenger location form before departure. So there is still restrictions there for unvaccinated travellers. 
uh, to and from the UK. Um, number three, the Guardian on the on the doorstep, but out of this world, ten spectacular UK holiday homes, and they look the look and sound really good, and you can get um information on by going or more information by going on these websites. Uh, number one, uh, the houseboat Dorset sleeps 10, and it's from 1,208 uh, for three nights. Uh, the houseboat.pool.co.uk, so it's in, um, it sounds like it's in pool in at Dorset. Um, number two, the Launchy Walled Garden, North Berwick, Scotland, sleeps 12 from 900 a night. Um, and you can go on to Launchy Walled, Launchy Walled Garden got, uh, dot com. Number three, Wales, at Lodge Vale of Glamour, Glamorgan, excuse my pronunciation, well, Wales sleeps at four from 140 a night, and um, hide.wales, uh, that's the website to go on. Number four, Thai head fan, Pembrokeshire, Wales sleeps six from 1,100 a week, Thai slash headphone dot co dot uk is the website for more information and number five at uh, the chalet herefordshire simmons vat sleeps 10 uh, from 2995 for uh, four nights at uh, the chalet simmons vat uh, dot co dot uk the mill House Devon sleeps eight from seven hundred. Sorry, um, one hundred and ten a night, and um, the Mill House Devon dot co dot uk number seven Little Inca Cornwall Country Farm, a cottage or cabin on. Bodmore or Bodmin Moor sleeps at two from 850 for three nights or 1150 a week and that's on uniquehomestay.com number eight at Pilot House PH5 Argyle Scotland sleeps two from 160 a night um, from um, airbnb.co.uk or cootoffthebluew.uk.com and uh, number nine Moat Cottage Suffolk uh, sleeps 12 from 1216 a night wilderness uh, reserve.com slash the moat slash cottage and number 10 wishbone worcester cottage in malvern hills sleeps two from 995 for uh for four nights unique homestays.com so wow there's some uh really good websites like unique homestays to go on um especially if you're looking for a holiday home so number four news bbc half term travel uk for families avoid spain over jab rules and may uk uh, more UK families have cancelled half-term trips 
to mainland Spain and the Canary Islands because children over 12 uh, must be double vaccinated. Um, but that's really understandable, really. And uh, last but not least, flyer uh, to operate First UK route to Edinburgh. Wow, this seems really interesting. And uh, new Norwegian air line flyer is to launch its uh, First UK route uh, with flights uh, between Oslo and Edinburgh and um, also flights in the UK to Edinburgh at uh, Scotland and that's the short haul carrier so really good news um, there and um, some other really good news um, for vaccinated um, people that want to come in the UK or go out of the UK. So I would like to say thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another exciting video which is going to be a luxury travel, five exciting facts. Um, that's going to be a part three video in February um, on my mum's birthday. So. I would uh, like to say I hope you all have a nice day and, and night wherever you are in the world and uh, you have enjoyed um, half term as much as possible and I would like to say those are in the UK and I hope wherever you are in the world um, everybody uh, stays safe and well and Bye for now. Thank you. Bye.